the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. And, and that's, but that's a daily, that's a daily issue, isn't it? Yeah. And, yeah. And Bishop, I don't know if I think I told you before, I don't know if I ever told you, but I was saying is that when I went to a military conference back in Korea, the, you know, that, that one thing that always got me was when I said we need to tell people everything we know, Bishop, they were saying if you told everything you know, then who's going to be in charge? So I wonder how many ministries out there that's going, you know, going to that, using that philosophy or way of thinking. Yeah. They they leave. They want to keep them. They want to keep the kindergarten. That little group you saw walking yeah. around being yeah. disrespectful to you off the bat. They're like, well, who's in charge now? Yeah, well, yeah. You you're yeah. not in charge. I hope you I hope you're not thinking that you in charge. Yeah. yeah, that's what they obviously that's what some of them think. And yeah. some of them want to do that that little parade you was doing. That really was a parade of. That's why I want I want dumb. Some of them use the term sheep. You know, dumb sheep. They said sheep are dumb, right? Their brain is I. That's all I got is a bunch of dumb sheep. So, so one of the things I find them that when we come down to discipleship, you see, I look at it very carefully. I thought about this thing because they have the reason why this thing like it is. Because you, you go, you close your eyes and walk in any church. Mm. Right. Black, white. I don't care what you go in any of. Right. So what happens then, you see, is that they get stuck in places. Yeah. They try to take one piece of the puzzle and make that the big picture. Yeah. 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 Right. They try to make healing the big picture or they yeah. try to make faith the big picture. Don't realize all of these are just piece, necessary pieces to, to a greater end. Right. Somebody right. begins to look at the cross. Uh, the cross is central. It's key to everything. But Jesus didn't stay on the cross. Mm. <laughs> he didn't stay on the cross. Amen. Right. Listen, the scripture says he's seated at the right hand. And Colossians says, if you be risen with Christ, set your affection on things above. It isn't set yeah. your affection on the cross. Yeah. Woo! It's to set your affection on things above. While Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Yes, sir. Yeah, he ain't on that cross no more. In a lot of cases, it took a long time for them to take the, take the, take the body off the cross. Yeah, a lot of church symbols. But I tell you what, I tell you what, I I keep raising Myron from the dead. Myron come forth, <laughs> and then I gotta put Myron back on the cross. <laughs> hey, hey, look, look, look! Hey, I just caught, I just caught that. Hey, Bishop, I just caught that what he just said because it's it's applied to all of us. <laughs> Bishop, like you just said, look, Bishop, you just said it. <laughs> Jesus is not on the cross. Yeah. I've been, what, what you just said, brother, I said, it's kind of what bothers the church is, Bishop, they put him back on the cross. We put, you know, we put ourselves, the dead man, we put him back on the cross, yeah. opposed to the dead man buried and raised. He ain't dead yet. He's still, he's still in hell. <laughs> we, we keep, we <laughs> keep bringing him out of the tomb. We, we resurrect that bad boy. He got Bible signs. <laughs> Look, as soon as it's <laughs> and, and 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 folks don't got enough faith. So, <laughs> I'm gonna break out of prison and never got to take up the cross. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that ought to build your faith right there. You keep resurrecting yourself. <laughs> hey, look, so he's alive. So look, so what you're saying is look, he's alive on the cross. He ain't buried. He ain't dead, Bishop. He ain't dead. He ain't buried. He's alive. I mean, talking about the old man. The old man is alive on the cross. Yeah. Okay, let me listen. If you back up to Romans chapter five, to a very simple verse. And I, I, I'm saying it. Look, I, I am. I am aware, to some degree, of all of the, the multitude of different situations and circumstances that people find themselves in. I, though I might not have knowledge of them all, I really don't have to, but I just believe that the God we serve is bigger. I, I got a book on my shelf a girl gave me years ago saying, the title of the book is, Your God is Not Big Enough. Wow. Mm. 
I don't know if it's commercial like about recycling. Get little girl, they, they're talking about recycling, and her dad asks her what, you know, what she wants to do. And she come up with all this stuff she wants to do. And your dad said, why don't you just, just think about taking this, this ball down there to get recycling into a park bench? The little girl looks at her dad and says, Dad, you need to think bigger. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Verse 10. Verse 10 says, For if or when you were enemies, yes, you would reconcile to God by the death of his son. Stop right there. That verse tells you that what the death of Jesus did was reconcile you back to God. Yeah. 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 Doesn't tell you jack squat about what you're gonna do after you get back. Mm -hmm. Says the cross brings you back. Okay. And the next part is gonna tell you what happened, what goes and what happened after that. Yeah. It says, well, if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of the Son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his indwelling life. Mm -hmm. The cross brings reconciliation. From there, Jesus went on back to the Father, received the gift of the Spirit to be poured out. Right. Now he pours out the life of God in you by the Spirit, so that it is by that life now that we live. Yes, sir. Your living now is tied to the life of God in you. Hmm. The cross made all of that possible. Yes, sir. Leave the cross behind. But you, but 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 don't. But we came, and you, know, you go where, go somewhere, and they preach a sermon. They, they all can. The only thing they can tell you about the cross life. Yeah. Like, Look, man. I was gonna ever get to the beauties of his person. Yeah. yeah. The beauty and all the spiritual blessings that are in his life. That God has blessed them with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Wow. If God has given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Yeah. We, 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 you know, we, <laughs> some Baptist church is saying, if you don't talk, you don't go by the cross, you ain't preach nothing. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm not saying you all not to mention it. I'm just saying that is a, it's a piece of the truth, just like everything else. But yeah. you can't just preach that and make that the, the end story. Exactly. You make it's that the end story, you misled people. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That is not the end of the story. Just like that because song. Of this, because of this, because that's all this priest, you have a lot of carnal minded, woo, fleshly, milk drinking people. Mm. <laughs> we still, <laughs> wow. And that's where we stay at. And we stay there. And we're comfortable there. We invite evangelists and revivals to come preach to us the same thing. Yeah. If you don't do so if you don't do it, do it. Well, the truth of the matter is, some of the things that we made provision for, we love. Hmm. Yeah, you, we didn't want to give it up. Remember you said that, right? Egypt was still in them. Ain't nothing wrong with smoking a joint every now and then. <laughs> Hey, look, Egypt was still in them. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing, ain't nothing, ain't nothing. I had a pastor, I had a guy on the ministerial staff told me that his pastor told them that it's all right to sleep around as long as you do it discreetly. He heard, yeah, that's oh what I'm my saying. Goodness. Look at it, look at it. Because gonna, it yeah. Are you telling me to sin discreetly? Wow, wow, wow. Well, those are the same ones that are going after your wives and stuff anyway in the church. <laughs> I mean, what, what, what kind of what kind of leadership, what kind of example is that for you to tell people? You had that seen your pastor tell them it's okay to sleep around. Just mm -hmm. do it that's the way they keep it keep it, you know, off the horizon, off the horizon, radar, don't let folks know. Yeah. Let it be talking the time and you can. Yeah. And you know, how many would sit there and say if they get caught or something like that to say, I'm a man waist down? You know, that's a that's a that's a theme. Yeah, but words, if, if you're afraid for the pastor to say the truth, there ain't no ain't no conviction. You don't even feel bad about it. Yeah, yeah. In other words, he's preaching the provision for the flesh. Yes. And and a yeah, lot of where, where 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 is that scripture at? <laughs> he, he said, make no provision. They're making provision. That's that blurred picture of Jesus. 
Right. That was the picture right. of Jesus in the picture of a blur. That's that blurred Jesus we're following. Wow. Good. He